All right, what's up, everybody? Sky here, coming back uh, at you. I'm, <laughs> I don't even know what I wanted to say, but coming back at you with a another episode of shit I bought this month. Um, I fucked up, man. I'm, I'm super mad, bro, about this. Uh, let me show you guys. I'm gonna start off with this because this is a good find I found. But um, a lot of you might not follow me on Twitter, but I tweeted out that I um bought a copy of Zeno Saga Episode 3 and um I got this shit for $15 bro because um the place that I went to is called Vintage Stock and they have like seven eight copies of this game but um whoever stocked this one they were selling it for the price of Zeno Saga Episode 2 so when I seen it was Zeno Saga episode three was actually priced as Zeno Saga episode two, I just went ahead and bought it. But what happened is it had two pieces of plastic on it. This was the the outer plastic. This is what they put on all their games. Like it's on this game right here. This plastic. This plastic was under it, which is actually the fucking factory sealed plastic that I didn't even know or see because this was over it and I thought that this label was on this plastic right here but it wasn't but fuck it I got the game for $15 instead of it being worth $300 it's worth $100 so I really don't care it's a brand new fucking copy because I just opened it up so whoever did that that was a badass mistake um and I actually looked in the case, and whoever whoever did it probably doesn't even know Roman numerals because they hit what they did was the Zeno Saga episode two that was supposed to be in this case was back with the other Zeno Sagas, and it was priced at sixty dollars. And I'm like, do you not know Roman numerals, dude? But yeah, I got this shit, fucking brand new copy. It just sucks that it wasn't still sealed because it would have been worth a lot more, but. I really can't complain because I got it for $15 and um, I actually can't, I, when I sent that one back from uh, Amazon, because I got that one for like 60 bucks, so I, I came up on it, so it really doesn't matter. I, I still got a collectible ass game, um, <clears throat> even though I only paid 15 for it, but yeah, I'm, I'm never going to sell it, so. It's just, I really wasn't probably even going to ever play this game. That's what made me so mad that I accidentally opened it up. But it's just like, how the fuck are you going to know that it was double plastic on it, bro? Like, I was fucking pissed. Because I'm like, yeah, that's that's retail packaging because it has this shit on it. But anyway, we're going to move on before I talk about that, the whole damn thing. <laughs> I went and picked up my one of my orders from Mandarake. This was the... Black Hearts resin kit that I ordered and honestly I don't know what I signed up for but um <laughs> it's gonna be quite a while before I put this together because if you take a look inside it's all of the pieces none of them none of them are painted well they're painted the regular color but you have to paint some of them like you have to add detail to some of them and these aren't painted at all I was looking at the instructions and you have to completely paint the wings so make sure I don't lose any of these fucking pieces because I need all of them but um, I got my purple heart one coming in the mail too and I'm, I'm fucking mad because I spent a, quite a lot of money on this fucking thing and I thought it would just be like a pop together, but this is actually a model that I have to put together and paint. Like you can see, this is what it's supposed to look like. I have to paint the wings. I have to add all the accents and shit. I even have to paint on the fucking eyebrows, dude. <laughs> like look at this shit. <laughs> I have to paint on the fucking eyebrows and all of the instructions are in Japanese. So I'm gonna have fun with that. Man. It's probably gonna be at least a year or two before I put this shit together. So it's just gonna sit around. I'm not even gonna open the other one when I get it because I wanted to see what I was getting into when I picked this one up. So that's why I opened it. But that's one of them. I got the purple heart coming. Uh, Mandarake just shipped that out yesterday. So. Um, I got, let's see, bam, 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 didn't get that there, didn't get that there. 
I got all of these games from one pawn shop for guess how much I paid for all these games. $75 I got all of these. This camera won't focus for shit. But what made me, um, they had them behind the counter. <clears throat> and what drew my attention was I seen this. I seen Chrono Trigger. And I've been trying to buy this game for a long ass time. So um, I was like, holy shit, bro. Whoever the fuck came and sold this shit had a pretty extensive DS collection. Because these are all copies of a of a RPG fan just like me. So um, the way dude sold it to me was he added this up. Whichever games had a price marked in them. But um, he added up like three. What was it? Because I got a different game. Yeah, it was this. He added up all of these. And it came up to 65. So um, even at 65, this is way less than if you went and bought, tried to buy these right now. And then he sold me. Where's it at? And then he sold me these two games for five dollars a piece and i honestly didn't want demon souls but i heard that it's kind of hard to get now it's not really that hard to get but i'm like it may become rare someday so i just went ahead and grabbed that and this game sells for like 30 dollars bro and it's complete so i'm like whoever had this was a pretty big collector and i've heard stuff about this game so i went ahead and grabbed it didn't really want this but I got it for $14, so <laughs> that's cool. I really wanted Chrono Trigger, and I've never really been a big fan of the Shin Megami Tensei's besides Nocturne, but I've never even seen this fucking game before until I started looking it up, so it's somewhat rare. I've wanted to get this game for a long-ass time, but I didn't want to pay what? I think this game still sells for like 25 bucks, and I got it for $5, so can finally try that out now um and this i don't fucking know I, I i don't even know about this game this camera won't focus for anything but i'll end up trying all of those out um and yeah i showed i got demon souls and then i went to another pawn shop and um you can see i got this when it first came out and this is actually factory seal but the plastic is fucked up like right here, but this is a factory seal on it. I can tell because it's that thick ass plastic. So um, this is a brand new copy for four dollars. I don't even know how much it sells for. But I'm like, it's brand new and I like that game. And I talked the chick down on this one. She sold me both of these for like twenty eight dollars because I was like, man, how much you want for this? And um Honestly, Fire Emblem Awakening, I think this sells for like $40 still. Like, GameStop is still selling the pre-owned copies as the new copies price. So, I got a good deal on that. Um, I got this from Pawn Shop for $14. Come on, focus. Fire Emblem the Sacred Stones. This is my shit, man. <laughs> This is honestly the last Fire Emblem game I played until I played, um, what is it, Birthright? I think I'm playing Conquest right now, but I haven't played a, fo dude, why is my camera not focusing? This is weird. <laughs> but, um, yeah, I, this is the last one I played, so I don't even know if it fucking worked because I don't have any way to test it. Um, I borrowed my nephew's DS Lite, but the shit doesn't even work, so... Hopefully this motherfucker works by the time I do get something to play it on. Um, got this from a pawn shop. Uh, two ninety nine. I think this is Manhunt Two. Yeah, Manhunt Two. I didn't even know they had mature Wii games, so I was like, "Holy shit, bro!" And when I got this, I seen the, a copy of it on the the PSP. But um, I was like, "Fuck it." I actually got all of these for. No, I actually got all of these. I think I paid $3 a piece for all of these games. So, um, they had a clearance on them. So, I don't know what the fuck happened to my Red Dead Redemption. Lost that. Um, Rumble Roses. Probably never play that, but it's cool. Never even seen this game. And it's funny because as soon as I bought this game, I started seeing this game pop up every fucking where. Don't even know what it's about, but 
I seen from software made it, so I was like, I'll take a chance on that. Um, a few other things I got. Oh yeah, I got these to get. No, I got, I got all of these from the same pawn. I can't remember where the fuck I bought this from. It was a pawn shop though. You see, it says Cash America, but I can't remember which one I got that from. I got this from a pawn shop for twelve dollars. I already have Rebirth one on PC, but dude sold it to me for fourteen. I think it was twelve, thirteen dollars or something. But dude, my camera won't focus for shit. But it's Rebirth one on Vita. I just wanted to grab it. It was cheap, so I was like, it's way cheaper than if I went and tried to buy it. So I was like, let me go ahead and get it, man. That's pretty cool. I don't know why my camera won't focus, dude. There we go. This whole video is probably a fucking blurry mess. And the same place I got Zeno Saga from, it's a place called Vintage Stock. So that's the place where I said you can go buy all old shit. And they be having stuff on clearance. Like none of these have cases, but most of these games sell for pretty like 10 bucks at least. So to get them for a dollar, I can always buy some PS2 cases <clears throat> and, um, Throw them in there and then print out the case. So I got Kingdom Hearts Rechain of Memories. I got Final Fantasy 12. I got Tomb Raider The Last Revelation. I got Tomb Raider Chronicles. And I got Metal Gear Solid VR Missions. This was the one that really made me jump on it. Because I was like, I wanted to get this, but I was like, fuck, I didn't even actually look it up. It was just I seen it and I was like, I want that game. And for a dollar, like, fucking sick. Like, I'll show you. I just did that with one of my games. Actually, a couple of them. Let's see here. Uh, like, these cases. Like, remember, I bought this Mass Effect a long time ago. So, I just printed out the case. And you can't even really... It, it looks... I went to Staples and I had the JPEGs on this on a fucking whatchamacallit. It, it, it's the case. Like, it looks just as good as the regular one. It's just not as shiny. Final Fantasy 13 2 didn't come out as good because they have, like, a, a holographic shit on it. But it was a high-quality-ass printer because the shit looks good. And then I didn't have a case for my Heavenly Sword, so I printed that out, so... I'm going to just do that with those games. I might not be able to do it with Metal Gear Solid, like the PlayStation games, because they have smaller cases, so I have to figure something out on that. I was on Craigslist, and I fucking found this copy of Silent Hill 2. The dude wanted 25 for it, and they sell it at Vintage Stock for 30 so I, I talked him down. I was like, bro, I'll get you 20 for it, and he was like, shit, okay, I'll do that, and I was asking him. When I pick when I when I went, the way the motherfucker was texting me, <laughs> I expected it to be a chick because they were saying stuff like super and it's just they was texting like a chick. And then when I meet go and meet the motherfucker, it's this old ass white dude. He like got gray hair and shit. And I'm like, what the fuck are you doing with a copy of Silent Hill 2? And he just said that he had um it was like from his old collection that he bought it when it came out or whatever and he just sold his PS2 off Craigslist and he was trying to get rid of the game so all the other games he had were shit he had like Dark Sector and fucking like sports games but this was the best one he had so um I got this Silent Hill 2 20 bucks good deal when I was at Vintage Stock they had Silent Hill Origins they had Silent Hill 3, but um, they wanted $30 for those. And I was like, man, you can fuck off. I'll find that shit cheap or somewhere. And um, I got Looter Legend. I actually got all four of these games from... Because we have multiple vintage stocks in town. So I went to every single one of them. And I got Zeno Saga at the last one. But I got these ones at the first one I went to. And then I got these ones at the second one I went to. And I found Zeno Saga at the last one. But um, I got Metal Gear Acid 2. This was the game that I was supposed to fucking get off of Amazon. And it was actually cheaper. Because the one off of Amazon was like $20. So 
I just sent that back yesterday, so they should be giving me my refund for that. But I finally got Metal Gear fucking Acid. I got Lunar Legend, which, <coughs> oh, God damn it, I'm dying, which is a fucking sick-ass game. I don't know if I said it before, but this is all I did in social studies class in, like, 7th, 8th grade or something. I think it was, like, 7th. Which one is the one right before you get out of, out of middle school? That's 8th grade. So, yeah, 7th and 8th grade, bro. Social studies class. I'm sitting in the back with my book hit uh, up, and I'm playing on my GBA. And then when the SP came out, I was on my fucking SP. But I love the shit out of this game, so I'm glad I got that. This is another game, Oni, and um, I used to play the shit out of this, but <laughs> I was just looking this up on Amazon, and they actually had it a couple bucks cheaper because I didn't have to get it shipped, so they had this advantage stock. I got it, and when I got it, the dude was like, what the fuck, Rockstar made this? And that's what kind of threw me off because um, when I first played it, I didn't know anything about Bungie or Rockstar, but Rockstar is the publishers of this, and Bungie, I think, actually made this, because it says Bungie on it, so this game was pretty sick. Let me take a look at this. Yep, looks exactly how I remember, so <laughs> kind of hype I got that, and when I was looking for Metal Gear Acid, I seen this, and this is the third birthday which I never even heard of this game or even seen it. But when I looked at the back, it looks like it's the chick from Parasite Eve in it. So I was like, holy shit, bro. I've never even seen this game. And Parasite Eve is pretty sick. So I ended up just grabbing that. Because I was like, bro, I need more PSP games anyway. So yeah, I don't know. There's actually two more things that I got. I got both of these from Walmart. Um, this is a little Bluetooth, um, that you can charge up and you could plug your microphone in it. I have an iPhone 7 and you can't listen to music and play and charge your phone at the same time, which is a pain in the ass when I was at Walmart and I seen this for like $8. The shit works great to where <coughs> I mostly use it in my car to where instead of passing motherfuckers the aux cord and fucking making your, your aux port all loose and shit. You just have this running, and they can just hook their Bluetooth to it. And actually, the sound quality is a lot better than going through um, the aux cable because it's digital, so it's way better. So if you have an iPhone 7, they sell these little things at Walmart. So you can just put your phone in low power mode and put, put your Bluetooth on. You can still listen to your music while you charge it. Yeah, I got that for like 8 bucks. Pretty good deal. It's amazing. Um... And they had this. This is like a 10,040 milliamp power bank. And um, when I heard <laughs> that you could probably charge the switch using one of these, I went ahead and grabbed it. Honestly, I need it because my, um, my iPhone 6 has this life proof case. And you can actually charge your phone from it like probably not nah, ain't doing it right now because I think I charged it up already but you could charge your phone using this case and I miss it because my iPhone 7 doesn't have that same feature so I use this to charge my phone up um and this thing is pretty rad because it has three ports so I could charge both of my fucking phones off of it and I could charge my Vita off of that shit and it it, it charges the shit like it takes a long ass time to charge this, but it'll charge the fuck out of your shit. So that's pretty cool. But yeah, that's everything I got, man. So uh, yeah, we will see you guys in the next one. Blurry ass video. Peace.